The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department has added Lake Marble Falls and Granger Lake to the statewide list of lakes infested with invasive zebra mussels. The zebra mussels were found in large quantities in lakes this fall. Biologists say they expect this to happen, but, not, but now they're worried about the extent the invasion is, is happening when it reaches maturity this summer. And KXN's Caitlin Carmuth joining us live from Marble Falls with what the city there is doing to mitigate this. The silver lining here is that the life cycle of zebra mussels isn't very long, but when they do start to populate, they can produce millions. They latch onto hard objects, and not only that, but they're sharp, and they can really cause damage to city infrastructure. So today I talked to people here at the Marble Falls Treatment Plant to see what their next steps are. They're fast. Fast moving and fast growing. It'll stick to almost any surface. The Department of Fish and Wildlife has found zebra mussels stuck along Starkey and Wirtz dams, which feed into Lake Marble Falls. Well, if you had no forewarning and they just showed up and you already had them, it could be pretty bad. Luckily, the invasive species arrival did come with warning for those here at the treatment plant. We just have a regular like stainless steel intake screen and we're replacing it with one that has the copper nickel oil alloy. Copper kills the mussels. Second to that, the treatment facility plans on using a copper sulfate chemical, which will filter through their systems. We can't control what's in the lake. But boaters can prevent them from heading upstream. We will always ask them, where did you come from? That way we know if the boat's contaminated or not. Tanner Childress at the Marble Falls Bay Marine Sports Center says the mussels he's seen latch onto boats are coming from Lake Travis. The center sends those boats immediately through a mitigation process. First step, calling fish and wildlife and placing them into quarantine, then washing them with hot water. The overall recovery could cost thousands of dollars. And they will tear up a lot of stuff. The systems and your hoses and they'll tear all that up and then we have to go in and break apart the boat completely and clean it out. Which is why valuable infrastructure has to be monitored and protected. The Texas Department of Fish and Wildlife suggests that if you are moving your boat to a different waterway, you call them to find out how to properly decontaminate them. In Texas, it is a fine to travel with those mussels on your boat, live or dead. In Marble Falls, Caitlin Carmode for KXAN News. Well, as of November, zebra mussels have been found in 29 lakes across Texas. The infested lakes are there in purple. That means the zebra mussel population is reproducing. The shellfish have been spotted in the lakes where you see the red and orange dots. Back in August, zebra mussels were found in Lake Pflugerville, which serves as a water supply reservoir. The city says they are working with an engineering company. They're also looking into options like adding screens or having divers manually remove them. They also have been exploring different chemicals to eliminate the mussels. But they're working with the TCEQ and Texas Parks and Wildlife to make sure the water plant and water supply will be okay. Last February, the zebra mussels were blamed for smelly water in downtown and South Austin. Test results found the smell was likely caused by zebra mussels in a raw water pipeline at the Ulrich Water Treatment Plant. That's one of the city's three water treatment plants located on Lake Austin. The city has hired a consultant to help deal with the shellfish.